Welcome to round 11 of my F1 2017 career mode. This is uh, the Hungarian Grand Prix for the Budapest track. Um, not one of my favorites. You have to get a good setup around here. You need a good balance. You need a good car underneath you. And our Renault car certainly does not tick any of those boxes. In addition, we've uh, planned some upgrades which have not been delivered. So it's uh, all about damage limitation for this race, I would say. So uh, Lewis Abbott didn't have the best of qualifying. He didn't get pole position on this occasion. He's in P2. We've got Kimi Raikkonen, who's our championship leader on pole position. So uh, swinging in Ferrari's favor. So these are the boys we're gonna need to beat to do anything remarkable in this race. We need to get ahead of the Red Bulls. So uh, there is a slight chance of rain for this race. We don't know if it's going to come through or not. But that's going to spice things up and uh, that's also going to be one thing in the back of my mind when it comes to strategy calls. But I really need to keep that in mind. So uh, yeah, we're quite wrong there. That's Sebastian Vettel on pole position. Lewis Hamilton P2. Um, and then we've got the uh, the two teammates. We've got Kimi Raikkonen in P3. Max Verstappen with a good pull up in P4. Ricardo P5, Bottas 6, uh, our teammates 7, Perez 8, ourselves 9th, and a full senior in just in so. so, let's get ready for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Five red lights, and away we go. Poor start. Gonna lose two positions straight off the bat here. We've got Massa and Perez just flown through, but we're gonna have a lunge. Plenty of space up the inside. We're going to go for it, Verstappen here, put Ocon in the bag, let's go up the inside and we get both Red Bulls for the price of one, it was very very cautious going into there, now it's going to be about holding station Perez, we've got a good chance of having you son, so uh, P5's got to be the aim of the game for this race and keeping them two Red Bulls behind will be a mighty thing, this is their most dominant track. So as you can see, Vettel with a great start. Kimi as well, flying off the line. Now Lewis, not the best of starts, but he got the inside line there of Kimi, so pushes him, squeezes him. Bottas is a sandwich there. You can see us making up places. Coming up now, the inside of the two Red Bulls. Left the door wide open. And then easy after that. So one of the harder tracks to pass this one. See coming through for lap one. So now it's going to be about bridging that gap to the uh, full Cindy ahead. So not much happening. Moving on to lap five, coming under massive pressure now from Danny Rick behind us. So we're going to go defensive. We're going to move to the middle of the track, push him out wide. He's still there. We want to make the apex and get a good clean run. It's all about trying to get traction out the corner with this guy behind us. Here's a replay. You can see we've got a little bag of cars behind us. One, two, three, four, five, six cars in the hunt from my position. So Ricardo goes to the outside. He can't get the turn in. Following lap, lap seven now. Get, try to get a bit tighter on that last corner. Come to the inside. We have to hold it all the way around the outside, get up the curve, which we don't want to do, it's going to compromise our traction. However, I think we're quite lucky there because there was a yellow flag because our teammate is out of the race. He has been useless this year, he's not been pulling his weight. And again, no points from our teammate. Anyway, bad luck for him. But uh, that did help us fend off Ricardo in that stage there because he could have uh, easily had a, that position off of us. But I think the yellow flag, he just sort of backed out of it, didn't want to get a penalty. And we live to fight another day. Here we go, side by side into turn one. He's got the high ground, he should have squeezed us to the outside, he was quite fair. We got up on the curbs and then the yellow flag, he ducked back in, everyone single file through there. 
lock a break from Ricardo. And green flag racing once again. So moving on to lap nine, our tyres are seriously getting punished now. The rear's not too much, funny enough. But the fronts are taking a battery, look at that. 41% after nine laps. It's gonna make a box. Now this has heavily influenced my decision. The tyre deck and also the threat of rain coming later in the race. I'm now thinking about putting the medium tyre on, which is no way optimal. We should be going with a soft tyre. However, with the threat of rain, I wanna go as long as possible, keep as many options open to myself, um, and hopefully that can um, really help us with track position later in the race. Good clean stop, still got out in front of Danny Rick, which is uh, vital at this point. So we're pitted quite early compared to the rest of the field. So that's gonna bring us out of position now. Not too many cars, slow cars in front of us at this point, which is good. We're coming on to the end of lap 10. And Danny Rick's right there. He's on the super softs, we're on the mediums. He should have this, have us done here, but we're gonna squeeze it right up against him barrier there and then we're going to get a wide line into turn one get a better exit it was a bit naughty to be honest but it had to be done the inner Kevin Magnuson coming out there so here we go I was trying to get a wide line into the last corner but Ricardo was like no I'm taking that spot thank you very much Muscuri's then right up against the pit wall there. Trying to give her a shadow line into turn one. We went really wide. Got a sweep in all the way around the outside. And that helped us coming into turn two here. So again, the following lap. He's still there. He's not giving up. Of course, he's on a faster tyre. He should get us done. Got a faster car, faster tyres. He's going to have a go up the inside. Quite favouring this outside position into turn one because... Going into the following corner, we've got the inside. There's going to be a contact there with a wheel bashing. He's getting frustrated. Give you a bit back, son. Not having any of that. We hold on uh, to our position for another lap. Other cars have been making their pit stop, so that's why we're gaining places now. You can see he's got DRS. He's up the inside. But he's not forceful enough there. See, we're coming up to the back of a, a McLaren in front of us as well. Another lock up going into that corner. There we go. So we're coming up to the back of Van Dor. We need to really get past this guy quick. He's not made a pit stop yet. He started on the soft tyres. So where can we get it done? Not there. Come on, that apex. Going to go right in here. Need to get it done as early as possible. Did put up much of a fight up, and he's still got Danny Rick behind him now. So they're moving on lap 13. Poor exit there, and he's got us before the last corner. He's got to the outside though, so we're going to squeeze him on the exit. Things he should be doing to us, and we've got the RS as well, so we can power down into turn one. Seconds. Got a car exit in the pits. Estevan Ocon oh and he's giving us some we're giving him some back come on we need to have him down into this turn he's on the fresher tyre he's just come out this is important for the terms of the race for Stappen's miles ahead now that clear track position's really done in favours and he's gone on marching it's going to be the same with Daniel Ricciardo if we let him pass he's going to be gone like the wind give him a clean track he's got pace in that car Williams helping out there as well. Giving Danny Rick some food for thought. Here goes Verstappen. This is us for Yocon. So slipped it up the inside. Thank you very much. Onwards we march. 
So moving on to lap 17, there is that man Daniel Ricciardo once again. We're considering switching to an alternate strategy. Shut up, Jeff. To to Don't want to listen to it. We've got a red ball overtaking us. Here. We're going to go deep round the outside, hard on the brakes. Get a nice sweep in line there. And we managed to hold station. Now he wants us to go into a, a super soft. We're looking to take this medium tyre all the way if we can, which is a massive ask. And we're going to be super slow at the end. But we're hoping for rain. That's what we're hoping for. That's going to save our bacon. There's a few clouds around, but nothing substantial as of yet. You can see Daniel back way out of it. So we're moving on now. Lap 27. Okay, Quite a lot it bit later. 17. Daniel Ricky coming for another stop so that dropped him way back down the order so this medium tyre has really bumped us up the places here. So as you can see the tyres are really worn, especially that front left in particular. But we're just trying to manage it now. Trying to be as smooth on the steering as we can. Ten minutes left of this rain, then we think it's gonna dry up. Ten minutes, gap to car in front is 20.5 seconds. Okay, Jeff. So, we've made the call, we're going to come in. The traction is not there. DRS has also been disabled. That's our cue. We think there's a viable strategy change available to us. Oh, Would shit. Like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? We'll have a go with that. We already told you we're boxing. Understood. Here we come. Six laps are remaining. The Hungarian Grand Prix and it's time for Inters. The track is too slippery for slicks now. But we've got a false India who wants to go around once again. And that's Sergio Perez. Another good stop, guys. So where's it going to drop us out? I think all the cars ahead of us have also pitted. Yeah, it's dropped us in just behind Perez. We just lost one spot. But we expect him to pit in the next lap. He's going to be super slow. We've got a poor exit here. Ocon is having a little sniff up the inside. Coming down the main straight. He wants a go. We're going to cover off a line. But we've gone really wide there into turn one. He's up the inside. Going to squeeze him. Going to have the inside line into turn two. We need to squeeze him on the exit here. That's it. So that was pretty much it there on in. So we managed to keep it smooth, keep it tidy. And uh, we managed to slowly eke out a little bit of a gap to Ocon. Nothing major though, just a, a few seconds. And bring it home. Not a bad race. P5 for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Can't complain about that one. That was an excellent drive. Good strategy as well, Jeff. That's what's made it. We managed to beat one of the Red Bulls. And both force India. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. And as we can see, it's time for the so Kimi Raikkonen, the way our out. championship leader. Red suit making its way to He's the again step. extended Fantastic his advantage over the rest Ferrari. of us. Dominant drive, Lewis P2, Bottas P3, uh, Verstappen P4 and ourselves in P5. Again, good race could we have done better no no way didn't have the pace didn't have the balance we've done well to keep them cars behind us and uh the strategy call really so then, brought us uh, back into play this result affects the drivers championship it's a good result for Kimi Raikkonen who extends his advantage at the top of the championship now then Anthony Davidson who was your driver of the day well I think it has to be Fernando Alonso 
he got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. That's good Their to lead see. Has taken a uh, Sebastian work. Vettel has oh, had a DNF. It's time for a lie down, I think. Grosjean for joining us and, and Hulkenberg, our teammate, which we race. knew of in that race. So, in terms of the championship, we have now slipped well behind the championship leader of Kimi Raikkonen and Lewis Hamilton. So, um, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, please drop them in the section. Give me a like, subscribe, and I'll be back very soon for round 12. Cheers.